What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Pokemon we have never showcased before in ranked double battles. And that is going to be 10% Zygarde form. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the community. It really does go a long way. So I give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. But this team has actually been going around the ladder pretty well as of right now. It's a good Zygarde and Solgaleo team. You guys know Solgaleo is an absolute beast with weakness policy. So this team has been working really well. And I saw them at the code. I was just like, yo, let me grab it. Let me showcase it for the Genius community. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing it with this today. But let's get started here in the top left corner, starting off with the one and only 10% Zygarde over here with Power Construct, alongside with the Focus Ash as its item and ability. We got the Thousand Arrows for Stab, we got Bulldoze for Stab, Speed Control, and Weakness Policy proccing on our Solgaleo, and then we got Glare, which is a nice little support move, and then last but not least, we got that Protect. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Solgaleo. Solgaleo is going to be so good for this team. Like I said, once you proc policy for Solgaleo, it's pretty much GG. This thing is bulky. It can hit like a truck. It resists a ton of different moves. It's just great all around. We got the Full Metal Body as its ability, and then we're rocking with a great move set of Sun Seal Strike, Rock Slide, EQ, and Protect for its four moves. Middle left is going to be Regigigas. This team is also rocking with Regigigas and the Regigigas combo with the Glaring Weezing. We got Slow Start and the Life Orb as item and ability. Then we got Crush Grip for our stab move. High Horsepower, Ice Punch both for coverage. And then last but not least, we got to be rocking Protect on our Regigigas. Fourth Pokemon is going to be that Regigigas partner in crime. It's going to be that Galarian Weezy. We got Neutralizing Gas to actually take abilities off the field. But Beery Berry so we can eat up a Steel Shot. And then we got Dazzling Gleam, Will of Whisper, Burns on Physical Attackers, Taunt to Taunt Opposing Support Mons. And last but not least, we're rocking Protect also on this Weezy. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Galarian Moltres. I absolutely love this Pokemon. Great in Dynamax form, great in non Dynamax form. It just works well in most different situations. We got Berserk, Assault Vest as item and ability. Then we're rocking Fiery Wrath, Snarl for special attack drops, Sucker Punch for first time priority, and Air Slash for our stab flying move. Final Pokemon for the squad is going to be our Choice Specs Regilecki. So it can hit like a truck, do massive amount of damage with that Choice Spec. We got Thunderbolt, I was going to say Thunderweb, but we got Thunderbolt. Electro Web for speed control. Then we got Volt Switch Pivot Out and Hyper Beam for our lonesome coverage move. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, do I even have to say the rental code is right at the bottom of the screen? But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this 10% side guard and weakness policy Soul Galio team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Trick Room team that also features Ice Rider, Calyrex, Palkia, then he has Support Gun 2, Incineroar, Tapu Fini, and Amuga. So looking a little tough. I kind of want to go into Weezing here alongside with, you know, Regigigas, because, you know, kind of slower. We could taunt up as well. I really do like this combo. I mean, Regilecki or Regigigas kind of fast, but if I could taunt up on the uh, Trick Room user, we can really get Thriving here. We really could get Thriving here. But let me see what other Pokemon we could bring in here. I'm thinking maybe bringing you. So Galio isn't too bad here. And Moltres? I kind of dig them both. I kind of dig them both. So let's lead you or bring you and then bring Moltres in the back. Or do we go Reggie? Reggie's not looking too shabby here. He really isn't. But it's like, mm. yeah, we're going to we're gonna bring Moltres. We're going to bring Moltres because Reggie's just way too fast to be dealing with a lot of these Pokemon. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. Plus, Sucker Punch can definitely come up clutch for my boy uh, Moltres. Always good to have a first turn priority Pokemon on your squad. But we'll lead the, uh, the Reggie Gigas lead. We're getting after it that way. We are getting after it that way. And I wonder who he's going to lead. I feel like he can set up Trick Room like instantly with uh, the Fake Out and Porygon 2 combo. Then Cinemore Porygon 2. He can really just get rolling here. Or he can go into Rage Powder and then roll into uh, a Trick Room onto either Porygon 2 or even Ice Rider Kylox. We know that learns Trick Room. We know he learns Trick Room. But if we know he can get off Trick Room, I might just not even like go for the Taunt. I might just go for like you know, something else. Let's see who he ends up leading. He actually has multiple Pokemon. Like, Palkia's gonna pop a Trick Room. Palkia is gonna pop a Trick Room here. A lovely little Trick Room. And do I Dynamax and see if I can pick up the KO? Is that my play? Do I Dynamax and try to pick up the KO? And I'm obviously gonna go for the Taunt here. Go for Crush Grip. Crush Grip ain't bad. More HP the target has left a greater move power. Or I could Dynamax and use it as a max strike move. I'm leaning towards. I am leaning towards this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna send it. We're sending it. We are sending it. We know he's faking out. We know he's Trick Room. It's gonna be ugly. It's gonna be real ugly. Real ugly. Was he Dynamaxing? No. He's actually he might be. I outspeed. 
as of right now. As of right now, I outspeed. We're hoping he's faking out my Regi Gaga slot. That could be huge because then I get off this taunt, I can get off this uh this max strike, deal some big old damage onto that thing, and we get rolling out from there. Plus, Intimidate did not come out because we still have a Weezing guy chilling on the field. Good old Weezing. Let's see what he does. Fake out now, please now. Leave me alone. He's Dynamax. Cool. He's Dynamax. Cool. 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 He's Dynamax. So Taunt's gonna do nothing. Uh, we can uh, max Quake next turn, which I'm really leaning towards. Which I'm leaning leaning towards. Just take out the instant or Hopefully he's not going for a parking shot. Now I want him to fake me out. Now I want him to fake me out. Please fake me out. Please just fake me out. He's guard. What the? What? He's parting shot on me. How dare you? Oh my god, dude. I hate this game. This game. I hate it. I hate it so much. You know, I really, really dislike. I really dislike this game. Hate it. But he knows we're rocking taunt now. He does know we're rocking taunt. He does know we're rocket taunt. He's gonna send out his X Pokemon. It is going to be a Moongus. And he's ready to just rage powder out. And kind of just roll from there. Taunt's gonna get blocked. Son of a biscuit. I'm going to taunt you. I think I just hailstorm drop, right? He's rage powdering all day. I swear, if he protects his Moongus, he can go home and get out my face. P protects his Moongus. Done. Run the battle. I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> We're about to get against Dynamax. He has Palkia Dynamax. Each turn, we already wasted one turn each. That's fine. He wasted one with Max Yard. But all he got off was a parting shot. So it ain't too shabby because Reggie Gagas can still hit like an absolute truck. An absolute truck. There's the Rage Powder. There, there it is. There's the Rage Powder. There it is. See what he does from here. We're going to drop a Hailstorm. Do some big damage on that. It is coverage, but still. Slow start Reggie Gagas can do some big damage. Look at that. We love to see it. So now he's taunted next turn. We kind of just start thriving with moves. Start throwing them left and right. Dazzling and gleams, all that good stuff. He's going to be forced to like do other things. But he's going to send a quake here. And can you eat that up? What's up? Cannot do. Palkia is way too strong. Palkia is way too strong. And here comes the abilities. The abilities are out and about now. Slow start is back in effect. It sucks, dude. It sucks, man. It's real rough. Neutralizing gas wears off, and I can't kick him. Tough to use pressure out and about, and then he's gonna lose some life orb damage. Okay, cool. We don't need to get off the taunt onto the Amoogus, dude. That's rough news. That's real rough news. That's real rough news. It's the roughest news of all. But uh, from here, I could bring out Solgaleo. I could save my Solgaleo and just go into you and then just air slash, because I know you should be faster than Regigigas now. Do the slow start. 112. I don't think that's his speed right now, right? Tough news. What do we go into? Who do we go into? Where's my call? I think I'm just going into you. Yeah, let's just, let's just go into you. Let's go into the bird, yo. Let's go into the bird. The good old bird. Good old bird. All right, we're gonna go into Moltres here, and I'm just gonna drop a, I'm just gonna drop a snarl here. I'm just gonna snarl, and I'm going to, uh, I'm just gonna max quake at the same time. I just think it's my play. Snarl and quake. Get special attack drops, get special defense boost. Try to outbulk our opponent at this point. I would love after my turns to swap my Regigigas. Because you know he's just going to bring back out what's called very, very soon, Incineroar. Which he might actually do with this turn. He might just do with this turn. What are you doing, kind sir? What are you doing? What are you doing? Protect. It's fine. That's totally fine. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. He's going to worm win. It's easy soaks for my boys. Look at that. Beautiful soak. Beautiful soak there. We have the soul fest. Making it do about a little bit more than half. But now we're going to go uh, plus one on special food defense. And we're going to drop Snarl onto this. Uh, onto this what's called. On this Palkia. On this lovely little Palkia. Snarl's going to come out here. Blocked by Amoongus. And I think I clicked Max Quake into Palkia, right? Not Amoongus. I'm kind of hoping it was a Palkia at this point because you protect it. Did I click Palkia? Who'd I click? I don't even know who I clicked. It was somebody. <laughs> it was one or the two. It was Palkia. Cool. So we'll chip up some damage. Really not doing anything good, but still, I was kind of just using him for a special defense boost. There we go. Special defense boosted through the roof. I think uh, that's Dynamax turns are gone, right? I think that's all of them. And now he's going to be forced to swap or do something. He's forced to swap or do something. 
cool 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 so i'm just gonna drop a fire wrath and then i'm gonna go into i think i'm just gonna swap i think i'm just gonna swap here i think my play swap all day because i don't think palkia can take out my moltres without a soul fest i really do not think he can so i'm thinking of just doing this and then just hard swap into my soul galio and get my stats back to normal on my uh on my regigigas i think it's my play all day we swapping we are swapping Get out there, Solgaleo. Get on out there. Let's do it good. Let's do it good. Fire Wrath comes through here, and we do have speed, which is gorgeous. Uh, he turn it that way. We'll take out Amoongus, and we'll trip up some damage onto that Palkia. And we have a chance to flinch, I think. I always forget that that, that move does. And he's going to pop Trick Room. Now this is Trick Room pop. Mm. Hate this game. Hate it. Hate this game so much. And he's going to bring out Ice Rider Calyx, right? Ice Rider Calyx is coming out. And at this point, I'm just going to sucker punch him. I'm sucker punching right into that thing. I'm going to take him out. Not with the sucker punch, but I'm going to deal some damage on him. First. Go ahead. Go into who, whoever you're going into. It goes into Incineroar. Come on, man. Leave me alone. Goes into Incineroar. And I'm, ready, I'm ready to battle. I'm ready to battle. Attack's dro getting dropped. Full metal body is out here, which we love. And now I can just go into a... Uh... What do I go into? So I could sucker punch. But I feel like whatever Palkia has to offer, we're going to eat up. So, you know what? I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to freely EQ. I'm just going to freely EQ here. Let's see what he does. He's going to fake me out. He's going to fake out my bird. That's fine. Fake out my bird all day. What's Palkia going for? Spatial Rend. Spatial Rend going into the bird. Are you doubling into my bird? He is. Eat this up. Oh, my God. Oh, the Buffets. Not the Buffets, man. Not the Buffets, dude. God dang hell. God dang hell, doing me dirty. But we dropped this EQ freely. We put Palkia on one. Palkia should go down the Buffets, which is a huge turn for us. And uh, Bird's going to go down as well. So the Bird goes down as well. It's tough news. It's real rough news. It's real rough news. Real rough news, but a solid turn. Solid turn there. He has one Pokemon left. We can bring out Regigigas here. We have two solid powerhouse Pokemon in the back. Um, what's, he has to have Ice Rider Catholic. He popped the Trick Room, right? He's got to have that Ice Rider Calyrex as his final mod. It's got to be him. It's got to be him. It's got to be him, right? Ice Rider? Yeah, okay. I thought, I thought I thought this dude was going crazy. But there it goes. Ice Rider comes out here. He does have Fake Out Ready to Roll. Um, we have to double down into him. We have to double down into that Pokemon all day. We go for Crush Grip, but nah. We're going for... We go for High Horsepower? Nah, we're going to go for Crush Grip here. Crush Grip. And we're going for Sun Seal Strike. Run it up. Run it up. Run it up. As long as he doesn't protect, we can have a great turn here. I probably should have went to a high horsepower into the uh into the Sonora just in case to protect, but he's posing such a big threat with this icy horse. Okay, he doesn't protect. That's good. He's gonna high horsepower and a Solgaleo. And Solgaleo eats. Do not double down on my Solgaleo. Leave him alone. Leave my Solgaleo alone. Leave my Solgaleo alone. Leave him alone. Don't flare butts. Crush Grip comes out here beforehand. Not bad. Chipping up some damage. Mwah. And please, don't go after him. Throat chop. Oh, no, man. God dang it. That's GG's. That is GG's now. Double down on my, my Soul Galio. I needed him. I needed him there. I needed my Soul Galio. I needed my boy. It's good to know we outspeed that in Cinnamore. How many turns left in Trick Room? Two. That is tough. That is tough. We're going to go for a high horsepower here. Hope for a crit, but yeah, it's pretty much over here. Glacial Lance comes through. Man, dude. Not my Solgaleo. He really doubled down into him. He really doubled down into my Solgaleo, and one Glacial Lance comes through here. It's over with. All day long, Regigigas drops out, and there's our first battle. 0-1. Oh, Let's hop into a second. Look for our first win. It's time to grab ourselves a win here for today's video. We're hopping into our second battle, going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex. And Groudon team that also features Charizard. Uh, what is that? Thunderous and then Incineroar and Wimscott. So, looking pretty tough here. Looking pretty tough. Always a tough battle with the Restricted Mods. But I feel like we should thrive here or thrive really well here with Solgaleo and Zygarde 10%. I just feel like Procon Policy could work well, slow down every other Pokemon, and kind of get rolling here. I just feel like the only problem would be if he leads Shadow Rider Calyrex, you know? Shadow Rider Calyx should definitely be a problem. I'm definitely going to be bringing in my, my bird in the back end because, you know, bird is nice. But then final Pokemon, do we bring Regilecki or do we bring a Pokemon like Regigigas? I feel like Regilecki could be good once we get rid of uh, Groudon. So I'm with it, yo. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down and just hope. 
just pray to the Poke Gods that our opponent isn't leading the Shadow Rider Calyrex. Because that's like our only threat as a lead. If I can get off this Solgaleon and just start rolling out from here, we could be thriving. We could be thriving. But maybe I should have led the Solgaleo alongside with the uh, Moltres. That probably could have been really, really good. That probably could have been good. Let's see who he goes out into. Groudon and uh, no Shadow Rider? Cool, no Shadow Rider. We love it. We love it. We love it. It's a really good turn for us. So we're going to take this all day. Uh, What do I do? I know my Solgaleo should be able to outspeed Groudon, especially after a Bulldoze. I think we proc policy and we get after Groudon all day. I think we get after Groudon all day. We go Bulldoze, bang. Send this this way. Go here and in a Sun Seal Strike or a Max Seal Spike. Yeah, get the defense boost on top of that. I'm I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Let's do it. He's Dynamaxing. I'm Dynamaxing. I think he's Dynamaxing to uh. He's got to be Dynamaxing to uh, the Genie, the Thunders, right? Yeah. He's got to be Thunders. It is gonna be the lovely little Thunders. He might be going for an Airstream. And if he goes for an Airstream, that's fine. Because. We're gonna minus one on this ground. So my Solga should be able to still outspeed. And we should be able to get thriving here. We should be able to get thriving, which I really, really like. Plus, we're gonna get that plus one boost from defense. Ooh. Up against two physical attackers. I like it. I like it a lot. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Or I'm trying to think of what other moves the Thunders can go for. Electric move, change up terrain. And that, that, that really wouldn't benefit him. Airstream's probably his play, right? Bulldoze can come in here first. Beautiful. Nobody's protecting. We'd love to see it. Bang. We proc a policy. We slow him down the ground on. My Solgaleo should... No, no, no. What's called is going to go first. What's called is going to go first. Thunder's going to go first. And even if he boosts his speed of the ground on, it's just going to put him back to normal and we should be able to outspeed him. He should go for a Knuckle. That's fine. going to go for a Knuckle into, into my Zygarde. Zygarde soaks that up all day long. We're thriving, dude. If this takes out ground on, we're sitting so pretty. We're sitting so pretty. Take him out, yo. Take out this Groudon. Please get rid of this Groudon. Get him out of my face. Get him out of my face. Get him out of here, right? Let's go. Huge KO from Solgaleo. The dog combo coming out here. Like I said in the beginning, this is my first time using the Zygarde 10% form. That's basically just like Zyg It's like mini Zygarde with like a... It's, it's mini Zygarde just faster. Like, it's weird. It's weird. It definitely is weird. But Power Gear comes out more often with this Pokemon, I, I feel like. Especially because we're rocking Focus Ash. And now look at us. 216 HP. That's huge. That is a huge turn of events. He goes from Zygarde being 56 HP to being one tap to just changing form and rolling out strong after that. But he's going to bring out the Charizard. I'm kind of cool with the Charizard. I get 1,000 arrows here. Knock both these guys to the ground. And I could just drop a Rock Fall, which I think I'm going to do over onto the Thunders here. He's going to be my play all day. Try to get us off on the Thunders. Try to do some big damage. Airstream's going to fly probably into my Zygarde. Yep, Zygarde says, hey, yo, that's tasty snack. I love me some Zygarde. He's going to boost speed, but, dude, I can take out this uh, I can take out this Tornadus all day. And I can change up weather. Weather change is going to be huge for us, even though he's probably dropping a Heat Wave here, which is kind of scary. Blast Burn. Can we eat that? Come on, yo. Blast Burn. Blast Burn. He drops a Blast Burn over a Heat Wave. Okay, he can't move next turn. That's fine. That's fine. He drops a Blast Burn. God dang Blast Burn. <laughs> we drop a thousand arrows. That's fine. We knock all these guys to the ground. They can all be hit by ground moves now. But are you kidding me? This thing drops a Blast Burn. He drops a Blast Burn. And I could go in the Reggie. I could definitely go in the Reggie. Start slowing him down. I'm kind of with that. I'm kind of with it. I'm swapping the Reggie here. Thousand arrows. E Web. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. Char can't go this turn, which is huge. And I can just, you know, a thousand arrows. Super effective on the booth. And it should be able to take out him. I, I think I, we just go into a, a Thunderbolt here. I think we're going to choice to do a Thunderbolt. I really do like that. Reggie might be faster than the uh, Tornadus. Let's see. No, it's not. Airstream's coming through here. Go after my Regilecki. Zygar, eat that. Oh, Zygar, 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 sweetheart. I needed that eat. I needed that eat. I needed that eat. But there goes all of his Dynamax turns. That's fine. That is fine. We're to respect into this move. And, dude, dang, dude, I thought this battle was... Really looking in our favor. Charizard must recharge. We're going to go for Thunderbolt here. That's some big old damage. That's some big old damage. We like that a lot. Solar Power should come out here. And who do I take out here with Sucker Punch? Who's posing a bigger threat here? Who am I Sucker Punching? Who am I Sucker Punching? That's the real question. Who am I Sucker Punching? Who's going to be his last mod? It's gotta be Calyrex, right? It's 
Gotta be Calyrex. And I think Calyrex is faster than Reggie. Oh, I don't know. 242? I think we have to sucker punch this. Uh, I think we have to sucker punch you. Get rid of you. And this thing wants to go for a blast burn. He can go for a blast burn. Let's see how this one plays out. Sucker punch coming in hot. Bill, I really need my uh, my Moltres here. Because I think it is going to be Calyrex. But let's see what this Charizard roll into. Another blast burn. He is going to go into another blast burn. Someone eats this up. Eats this up. Probably not, right? Hate this game. Hate this game. Okay, so he has to recharge. Um... He has to recharge. And what's our player? If he goes into Calyrex, I might just fire Wrath, right? So I can see a Protect coming through, right? Let's see what he goes into. It's going to be Calyrex. So, okay. So he knows we have Sucker Punch. He knows we have Sucker Punch. He knows that his Charizard has to recharge. He probably thinks we're dropping a Sucker Punch, so I'm just going to go into Fiery Wrath. The reason I do that is because Charizard has to recharge, and if he protects, Charizard can recharge. So we're just going to do this. Maybe he protects. Let's see what he does. And if he doesn't protect, we might be able to eat. Charizard recharging. Oh, this thing goes for a Will O' Wisp. That's fine. That's fine. We're going for special attacking shot. Went for Will O' Wisp. He went for Will O' Wisp, and we bring him down to that. Yo, we won. We won the game. Let's go. Let's go. My boy Moltres clutching up. What was up with the Will O' Wisp? What was up with the Will O' Wisp? I'm a little confused with that. By that misclick. Or did he think maybe I was just going to take out the Charizard and read to protect? Maybe he thought that. No, dude. No shot. Right into Sucker Punch now. Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch for the win. Just constantly send it. Just constantly send it. And actually, we might have been able to eat up uh, one of his shots because we are a Soul Fest. But there it is. One and one. Let's hop into our third. Look for a winning record. It's time to grab ourselves some winning record. We're hopping into our third battle, and we're going up against a pretty cool team. We're going up against a Cherum Sun team that also features Groudon, Zacian, Suicune, who actually learns Tailwind, so Suicune from Speed Control, Kartana, and then that Defiant Thunderous, who is super, super strong. Super, super strong. I'm thinking of going into, you know, little little Regigigas combo here. Kind of get that rolling. We showed off the other combo in the last battle, so why not do this one? Why not get rolling with this squad? I'm liking it a lot. I am liking it a lot. We can burn. We can do a good... Good amount. We can do a good amount. So, yeah. Let's lead these two. Get them rolling. We're going to bring Solgaleo in the back end. And then, last but not least, I'm leaning towards Reggie, yo. Reggie's just nice with it. Reggie is just nice with it. Or do we go with a Pokemon like Moltres? I feel like Moltres might be a little bit better. Because, like, Reggie like he can do some work. But the ground on scaring me. Nah, we're going Reggie. Choice spec Reggie. He hits like a truck. You saw him in the last battle. Do big damage to that Thunders. Bring him down in red. Actually made the battle super, super close. Help to, help us win that one. Help us win that one. But we're looking for the winning record here. Let's see who our opponent's gonna lead. Let's see who he's gonna go out with. Let's get more. Let's get rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Do 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 do. Ba ba da ba da. He goes ground on alongside with the Tornadus. Well not Tornadus, the Thunderous. And we're just gonna Dynamax Reggie here. I think Reggie's just a great Dynamax. And our problem here is gonna be uh going for certain moves. Oh actually he doesn't have to fight right now. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Do we go for a strike and slow, slow down these guys just a little bit? I'm with it. I'm with doing this and then throwing a burn over onto you. I'm liking this a lot. So he doesn't have Defiant right now. So we can freely go into whatever moves we want. Freely go into moves. And I probably should drop the Hailstorm. I probably not. Hailstorm's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine with slowing down these people for a little bit. So if he's going to Dynamax, I'm going to Dynamax. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. So if I can get off this burn, if I can just get off this lovely little burn, whoo, whoo, we could be thriving. My boys could be eating today. We could be feasting. And we're down to maximize Reggie. I maybe should have protected my Weezing because he's probably going to target down my Weezing, try to get those neutralizing gases going or neutralizing gas off and get my slow start. But I feel like we could be thriving. With this one. I really do. I really do. So there's Dynamax for my boy. Get after it. What's he going to do? He's going to bulldoze. He's bulldozing. He's bulldozing. Slowing me down a little bit. How dare you? How dare you? Can you go after my Regigigas, please? I'd really appreciate that. I would really, really appreciate that. He goes for Knuckle. Go after Reggie. That's gotta be going after Reggie. Super. Yeah. He goes after Reggie. That's totally fine. So he's gonna get that attack boost. We're gonna burn the crowd on it, and we're gonna get off uh, a max strike here. A lovely max strike. Bum, 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 bum. That guy didn't take out my uh, neutralizing gas. Look at how much damage we're going to do. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. The damage is huge. So we'll get the speed drop, and he doesn't have Defiant right now, which is lovely. 
Speed goes back to normal. It's even on the floor, floor and Will-O-Wisp is coming out and it connects. My smokestack chimney dude connects it, which is just a huge burn for us. Huge burn for us. We love it. We love it. That's a huge burn for us. So we get off the big burns. I'm going to now drop Hailstorm. And I'm going to do as much damage as I can on you. And then I'm just going to Gleam. I am just going to Gleam. Just send a lovely little Gleam his way. He's going to Bulldoze again. My boys say, Ayo, hey, that's Tasty Snack. You are now burned. That's cute. That's real cute. And I think Regilecki should be able to eat up a Knuckle. Actually, no. He's going to be able to take me out. He's plus one. That's tough news. That's tough news. Sorry, Reg Regigigas. You're dead. Airstream comes through. Go after Weezing. Go after Weezing. Yes. 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 That's totally fine. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. I like that. I like that turn. I can sucker punch with my bird. I can come out here with Reggie. Oh. Reggie's not going to be able to do too, too much here. I'm trying to think, like, what can Reggie do here? Let's see. It really depends how much damage this Hailstorm's doing. Hailstorm's going to send Buffets. It's going to do damage over onto you. But we need to do as much damage as we can here. And that's, that's a little tough. That's a little tough, but still, burn and Buffet damage are going to chip away. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. And it is good. Okay, we still have we still have Reggie, which is nice. Because now I can just Sucker Punch into that uh, Thunderous and take him out. Yeah, I'm going to Sucker Punch into that Thunderous, take him out, and then just try to do some more damage onto this uh, Groudon and roll off from there. Because Regilecki in the back end can do some work. And dude, I didn't bring the bird. I thought I brought the bird. I thought I brought the bird. I thought I brought the bird, man. The bird would have been so good for us right now. I thought I had the bird. It's all good. It's all good. Because from here, you know, we're just going to drop another one of these. And I'm just going to go for a rock slide. Just going to go for this lovely little rock slide. This lovely rock slide. If he wants to bulldoze, he can bulldoze. That procs my policy. And then I have I'm posing a threat on that, at that end. Let's see what he does, because he is plus one on on uh, on attack That with that max knuckle. He's going to withdraw the Groudon. I'm cool with that. He withdraws Groudon. He's going to save it for later. And who's he going to bring in here? He's going to bring in Zassian. Okay. I'm fine with him bringing in Zassian. I am cool with that. I do not mind that. I just want him to take out Regigigas this turn. You take out Regigigas. Airstream, take out Regigigas, please. Thank you. Get out of here, Regigigas. What's called should still be decently fast right now. My, uh... A Regilecki, but I don't know if he outspeeds that that Zassian. He might not, which could be tough for us. Which could be real tough for us. The rock side pokes, uh, he, we send it that way. We take out the uh, Thunders, and then we take out the... Or no, we deal a little bit of damage onto the Zassian, but oh, this one's going to be tough. This one's going to be tough because he plus one that speed. He plus one that speed, and I don't think Regilecki outspeeds him anymore. Regilecki doesn't outspeed him. Mmm. It's no bueno. That is no bueno. No good. It is no good. But Regilecki is going to come out here, and we're going to have to choice into a move here. He has Groudon in the back, but I feel like we need, we're going to need Solgaleo to take out that Groudon. Whew. What's my play? What's the Jeans play here? What's the Jeans play here, baby? Uh, do I just EQ? I'm thinking I just EQ, right? I'm thinking I just EQ. Even if it takes out my boy, I think we have the EQ here. It's going to do the most damage. I have the EQ. Cherim comes out here. That's tough. We just took out a Regilecki for no, no, no reason. No reason whatsoever. We just took out a Regilecki. That's tough. He really swapped his ass in there. Give me Paralyze. Give me Paralyze. No. Blade's coming in through here anyway. It's fine. It's going to actually uh, proc policy. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, dude, we're definitely losing this one. Of course he gets a crit, dude. I had him burned all day and he gets a crit on me. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. But yeah, we're going to go one and two for today's video. One win, two losses. That's rough news. That's rough news. So I feel like we played we play a lot better than our record shows. He flies through here. Takes out the ground on. He outspeeds me, though. This dude outspeeds me all day. Unless he misses an attack and, and then my EQ can win us the battle. That is the only way. That is the only way we win this. That's the only way we win this. He brings out Zassian back. Yo, miss an attack. That's all I need. That's all I need. I need him to miss an attack here. And just let me drop this EQ. Let me do it. Let me do it. EQ coming in hot. 
Come on, baby. Give it to me. Give it to me. Miss your sacred sword or play rough. Don't go for that 100 accuracy behemoth blade. If he was smart, he would, but see what he does. Sacred sword connects. I think that's 100 accuracy, too. But there it is, yo. One and two for today's video. Grab ourselves one win. We didn't get swept and two losses. I don't know what happened at the end of that third battle. And I'm not talking about the battle. I'm talking about my face cam. If any of you guys noticed it, my face cam moved and it like dropped all the way down. So like my face was at like the bottom of the screen and it, was, it just looked awful. But luckily it was just the last 30 seconds. It wasn't like the whole battle. So I can still upload that video for you guys. But we fixed it here. Really nice. And we went one and two for today's video. This team right here was definitely a lot of fun to use. I absolutely love the side guard. I think it was really cool. But I feel like the team's play style really didn't fit my play style. So I didn't get to use it to like, you know, it's fullest potential just didn't fit me it just didn't fit me but still hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you did you know you already know the deal smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody